Hey all, it's Nicole here and um, today's video is on if you're on the road out adventuring or out for the holidays or visiting family or whatever it is, you're gone from home, how to continue to maintain your optimal lifestyle and three tips in, in doing that. Um, because now that I'm back home, it's like, ah, oh, so much easier to um, do all these things that I want to do. Um, it's kind of a more controlled environment. So once you leave that controlled environment, um, here are three tips for staying healthy, sane, thriving, not only surviving. Um, so the first tip is first get clear on your needs and what you want to do in order to thrive. Um, so in my example, um, we were just gone this past week for Thanksgiving week. We were camping down in the desert, um, our whole family, super fun. Um, so my top needs were or are, if I'm on the road or home, um, but especially if I'm on the road is um, at least eight hours of good sleep, some healthy food every day, movement every day, um, some love and connection time with my family, with my girls and my husband, and also, you know, when I'm visiting extended family or visiting friends like we were for this week, um, some great quality connection time with um, my friends. That really feeds me, and then bonus if I, um, I try to meditate and journal every day. Oh, actually, I do. Um, so that's the first tip is getting clear and then the second tip is to make it easy you know don't have these super high expectations and needs of um, so you know if I when I journal it's just like a simple daily and it's in this little notebook and this is easy it travels with me and you know just get it out and I um, can quickly write down every day in energy work and love, what my identity is, my virtues, and my number one thing that I'm gonna do that day. Um, so make it easy. And under that, a key thing for me, and possibly for you, is communicating with others. Um, so for me, communicating with my husband, Jack, of, hey, um, these are the things that will help keep me happy and thriving. And, um, and under making it easy is I identify my top two and only top two and that's um, at least eight hours of sleep every night and moving every day and um, communicate that with my partner so then also he's on board and then he communicates his needs and desires and then I, I'm on board and um, you know other people are helping you make kind of helping you but enabling you or you know helping to create the environment so that that's um, those those needs will be met or those goals or desires of yours will be met. Um, so, and then uh, the third tip is, let me just go back to number two. Another example of how making my movement easy was, um, you know, I would, I would take walks just straight out of the, our campsite and just, you know, even walk the campground loop or whatever side trail I found, but, you know, not adding on extra time or logistical challenges by driving to somewhere so that I can move or do, you, you know, it's just like right there. Oh, and I totally did squats, <laughs> um, you know, just random things like that, you know, walking right there and doing some squats, doing some lunges and even making it fun with friends, having that be some um, friend connection time as well. Okay, so really moving on to number three now is, um, so you've identified your needs and your desires too, you've made it easy, and number three, either do it or if you're not able to do it, then just have some self-compassion and be easy on yourself. So for instance, I was able to sleep at least eight hours every night because I identified it as a top need and desire and I would, I would leave the campfire with friends instead of um, staying up late night and talking, I would choose to leave and um, go to sleep. So I was able to sleep and then I did get in the movement every day. Um, and, but you know what, I didn't do a standard meditation every day where you know, I sat and breathed and was quiet and alone. Um, but I would do, you know, I would lay down with my girls and then focus on my breathing and, and being present. So, you know, kind of 
just be easy on myself like it's okay I'm not doing a seated meditation every day and I'm not doing a thorough journal write every day so just you know being okay with that and realizing you know we are shifting we're out here so that we can be in this beautiful spot with amazing friends and rock climb and scramble and go through canyons and adventure um, and um, and therefore my lifestyle is a little bit different um, so those are my top three tips so I hope you all have safe travels and get out there and adventure and leave the home if that's what feeds you and um, you know and remember those top three be clear on your needs make it easy on yourself and either do it or if you don't do it then just be easy on yourself again and have self-compassion all right thanks bye, -bye.